Hi everyone. Today we are going to talk about top frequently asked interview questions for data analyst. I am Dr. Lovelyn and the first question that we are going to take is tell us about yourself. How you will going to tackle this question? So this is the tip for the answer. You need to try to formulate your answer around the job profile and your experiences around it to showcase how you are best suited for this data analyst role. What can be your sample answer? This is the sample answer. I am a data analyst with a strong background in statistical analysis, programming and data visualization. In my previous role, the company name you can provide I led projects in predictive analytics and pricing optimization or any other uh, topic that you have covered which result in tangible business improvements. I am excited about the opportunity to leverage my skills and experience to drive the data driven decision making and the company name which you are actually giving the interview. Now second question. What statistical analysis tools and database software have you previously used? What are your favorites and why? This is your sample answer. I have used Python, R, SAS, SQL Server or Tableau for statistical analysis and database. You can replace all these software and tools which you have already studied. So Python with its library like Pandas and NumPy has been my go-to for the data wrangling and analysis due to its flexibility and extensive capabilities. You can talk about like SQL Server has been valuable for database management, offering robust functionality and seamless integration with other Microsoft product. I am open to learning new tools and technologies relevant to the role, but Python as SQL Server stand out to me for their effectiveness and ease of use. I am eager to contribute my skills and expand my knowledge to support the team's goals and the organization's success. Third question normally they ask how do you approach a new data set or problem? This can be a sample answer. When approaching a new data set or problem, I start by understanding the context and goal that means objectives. Then you will going to talk about how you explore the data for data cleaning and then define the problem, how you are selecting the methods for analyzing it and then you are analyzing it, interpreting the results and communicating using data visualization tool. So all these step by step approach you should mention. Then you can say that I remain open to iteration and refinement to ensure thorough analysis and informed decision making. This shows that you how much thorough you are and you are actually concerned about the informed decision making. So this is the very important step that you should take. Then another question is describe a challenging data analysis project which you have worked on and how you overcame the obstacles. So this is a sample answer that I worked on challenging data analysis project which was focused on identifying the fraudulent transaction in large financial data set. So this is a sample for financial data set. You can uh, replace it with any other important uh, data set or the domain where you have worked. So here we are showing that the, the obstacle was the imbalance between the fraudulent and legitimate transaction and to address this uh, I utilized resampling methods and the feature engineering techniques. And initial stages, you also face some kind of a setback. But after having some rigorous experimentation and collaboration with domain experts, that lead to the satisfactory result in identifying the fraudulent transactions with high precision and recall. This is the important another question that how do you ensure the accuracy and reliability of your analysis result? This is a very important question of accuracy and reliability. So here, this is the uh, sample answer which you will again going to approach in a systematic way. Fine. So you can say that I am using few methods to ensure my analysis is accurate. First, I check the data carefully to make sure that it is of good quality. That means you are uh, removing any kind of noise. And then you can say that I fix any miss or weird value and make sure that everything makes sense. Then you can talk about the mathematical problem. That is, you are uh, picking some mathematical method to fit that problem and uh, data well. Then you can say that I double check my result to make sure that they are reliable and apply to other situations. 
then you can also say that uh, i ask expert and other people which are involved to look at my work and give me feedback this help make me ensure that everything i found is correct and useful so here, this is the way by which you can say that how you are concerned about accuracy and reliability and what is your approach towards that then uh, there is another question that can you explain the difference between descriptive and inferential statistics this is a very very common and a very most important one this is a sample answer where you can talk about the descriptive uh, statistics uh, provides the summaries about the data for example mean median and mode and how it is uh, going to spread out the data that means standard deviation range the as well as the frequency of each value that appears frequency distribution so uh, in all or summary it help us to understand the basics of our data like what is typical how much it varies and how it is spread out then on the other hand inferential statistics help us make guesses or prediction about a bigger group based on a smaller sample which include things like testing if our guesses are right that means hypothesis testing then we are talking about confidence intervals then we are going to talk about that uh, what is the impact of prediction that means regression analysis and comparing group that is anova so these method help us to make some educated guesses about the whole population from just a sample so this is the basic uh, difference between descriptive and inferential statistics where you are actually talking about those keywords so this is another uh, question give an example of how you are effectively communicated complex technical findings to non technical stakeholder this is very very important to see your communication skills so this is a sample answer that in one project i had to explain complicated machine learning results to people who were not tech savvy so i use simple visuals and stories to show them what the data meant for our business and this way everyone could understand how it affected our decisions now what do you consider to be the most important qualities or skills for a successful data analyst so this is a sample answer that i believe the key qualities for data analysts are that they should be good at figuring out uh, the things knowing their tools very well solving problem effectively paying very close attention to the details communication is very clear and also they have the domain knowledge and uh, also they are curious and willing to learn new things working well with other that is teamwork managing their time effectively and always acting ethically so you need to understand that they are looking for these kind of answers and these are the uh, qualities every company is looking for so ethical job time management team work right as well as willingness to learn new things and these skills help ensure that the data analyst can they do their job well and provide the valuable insight so you can say this is a whole and whole and a complete picture of uh, the job profile of a data analyst now how do you stay updated with the latest trends and advancement in the field of data analysis this is a very very important because everyone knows that this field is so dynamic and changes every time so what are the you know trends uh, that you pick up so that is a simple answer that you can provide that i stay updated with the latest trends and advancement in data analysis through various channels so you can talk about the industrial uh, publications or any you know one or two books or the blogs that you follow or some research paper you should know that you keep uh, yourself or you keep read on, reading on so that you are actually informed about the emerging technologies methodologies and the best practices then you can talk about that uh, i participate in online forums webinars and professional networking events so that also you should keep very handy whenever you are approaching for an interview uh, that means that is helping you to engage with peers and expert in the field as well as exchanging the knowledge then you can say that i also make it a point to enroll in relevant online courses or attend workshop so you can uh, you know provide some one or two uh, online courses or the workshop that you have attended so that uh, you know that is has actually provided you with the depth knowledge 
then you can uh, say that uh, i actively seek out opportunities for hand on experimentation this is very important that the projects that you have done in your resume that you should mention and go and check that i have made a list that what kind of uh, requirements are uh, you know what kind of courses that you can pursue that uh, you can add in your resume so you can say that i actively seek out the opportunity for hands on experimentation and learning for by working on personal projects or contributing to open source initiatives as well so again this is a complete uh, you know package uh, where you can uh, provide them with that how you are keeping up and how you are also show socially active and this is the end and uh, we are going to make uh, more uh, you know such kind of videos uh, to keep you updated with latest uh, trends and the course <laughs>